Welcome back to Mastering MMA. I'm Coach Lee here with you today. Um, we're going to be talking about how to learn from everybody. So, I have this conversation with a lot of my fighters, um, both people coming in brand new to the gym and the experienced guys. Um, I think it's a very important conversation to have with all of them, and it it's received differently by people on both ends. Um, I was told this early on in my career, and it, and it really stuck. It made a lot of sense to me. And um, then as I got further down the road, it, it made even more sense. It's, uh, I was told that sometimes you got to be the hammer, and sometimes you got to be the nail. So basically what that means is, is sometimes you're the one just getting beat up every day, day in, day out. You're just doing all you can to survive, right? That's the, that's the new guy in the gym. And sometimes you're the you're the hammer, where you just come in and, and beat on people all day, right? It's it's all day, every day. You know, it's not a it's not even a thing most of the time. It's just you go in there, you do what you do, you go home. So the uh, the thing behind this is is you got to be able to learn both ways, right? So as a new guy in a gym, you're gonna be the you're gonna be the nail, right? You're gonna get beat up a lot whole lot um, so you're gonna learn to defend you're gonna learn to do stuff like that and here's the other thing that people don't people don't get is like a lot of new people are worried that they're holding back the more advanced people and in some cases that's true but it's not the new person's fault um, let me explain that a little bit here so the new guy right is is there to be the nail that's your job. You're the nail. That's not saying, you know, just give up, let them have it, right? Fight, fight to the best of your ability, whether you're striking or you're, you're grappling or whatever. And that's not saying try to knock your opponent out, right? You know, under control, right? We're sparring. We're not, we're not in a fight. But do the best you can, right? Even though you're the nail, do the best you can. And even though it feels like you're not getting anywhere, I promise you, you are. You are slowly learning how to defend stuff, which will come into play down the road. If you didn't didn't go through those steps, then when you get down the road, you would get caught with so much dumb stuff, even though you had the ability, you would know all these subs and everything else, you would just get caught with dumb stuff constantly because you haven't learned that ability to defend and scramble, things like that. Um, also, you'll kind of learn to see stuff coming right? The more you get hit with the same things, the sooner you'll see it coming. Which once again plays out coming down the road. So that's your that's your job as, as the nail, right? And the people you're worried about holding back, the hammers, right? The guys on the top end, they, uh, they can learn from working with new people too. If they're not learning from working with new people, then that's on them. A million percent. So, when I'm in the gym, generally I'm the hammer. I, I travel around to, to find people to push me. Um, whenever I get a chance, you know, if I got a day off or something and I, and I can get into a different gym somewhere and get with guys that, that are going to push me hard, um, I do that. Not saying there aren't guys at my gym that can push me, but for the most part, I'm, I'm top, top of the food chain there. Um, there's... I'm not getting subbed very often at all, um, which which is a downside to being in a small gym in a small town. But I travel to big cities, and, and I'm not getting subbed a lot there either, but I'm getting pushed a lot harder. Um, I'm getting in more dangerous spots. Um, I'm finding finding stuff that works on these other people, doesn't work on some of them, and i got to make minor tweaks. And a lot of times it's stuff that I'm using isn't working on these guys, but by the end... It's getting closer because I'm figuring out the minor things that need to be adjusted. So, with that being said, when I'm going with a new guy, I can still be learning because I can be working on my new stuff, right? So, let's put this in, in three levels. You've got your people that you're way better than. You've got people that are about your level, give or take. And you've got people that are way better than you. Right, and you'll you'll play in all, all of these levels, um, depending on where you're at. 
Um, but so the the new people, right? I can start something I just recently learned. Sometimes I can hit it right away on new people, right? If it's something more complicated, I am going to have to work out some of my problems on the the newer people, right? The the close to blue belts. Some sometimes it's the blue belts. You know, it kind of depends on, on where you're at there. Or if I'm striking my new combo, I might get caught by the new guy a couple times until I figure out the timing on it or, you know, a little change in angle or something. But if I were to try that against the experienced guys, um, you know, I might be striking and I'm trying on experienced guys, I might be getting kicked in the head, right? Because I'm putting myself way out of position. Or if I do that with the new guy, I can use, usually they're not going to be able to, to counter or to capitalize on my, my mistake as I'm learning this new move. Um, same thing with grappling, right? If, if I'm with a, with another hammer and um, I'm trying something brand new that's kind of complicated, chances are I'm getting strangled or caught in an arm bar or swept or whatever the case may be. They're going to take advantage of, of the mistakes they see quick, really quick, right? Where if I'm going with a new guy, they might not even see the mistakes yet. Um, and if they do, they might not be able to capitalize on it fast enough before I realize the mistake and I can correct it. So, in general, when I'm learning something, and you'll run into stuff that you can immediately throw in when you're going with the hardest guys in the gym, right? Some things just click for you. But in general, it's kind of a process as you move up, right? So if you're the new guy, don't feel like you're holding that person back because if you are, it's their fault, not yours, right? They should be working on their new stuff. They should be trying things out. They should be helping you. They should be teaching you because teaching somebody else will help you learn. Um, and it'll help you figure out why you do some of the things you do. So the, the hammers need to be doing that, right? They need to be working with newer people to start implementing stuff in their game and, and moving it up. And not everything has to be done that way. But the other thing the hammers should be doing is helping the nails learn to become hammers, right? If um, if I would go into the gym and just tear everybody up and not try to teach other people to get better, then they're not going to get better fast. Obviously, they're going to figure some things out on their own. They're going to get better. Some other people are going to add to it. But I go in there to try to make everybody I can the best they can. Um, and I want them to get there as quick as possible. One, because I enjoy doing that for people. I, I, I get a, I get kind of like a warm feeling off of knowing I showed somebody something that's made a big change in their game. On top of that, the quicker they get better, the quicker they can be challenging for me, right? They might, they still not might, oh, excuse me, they still might not be coming close to subbing me or putting me in a bad position sparring or whatever, but they're not just kind of a moving heavy bag or a or a slightly better than the grappling dummy thing. So we've got to, uh, you've got to bring your guys up as, as quick as possible, skill-wise, right? So that you keep bringing people up the ranks and, and, and keep them coming through. So basically what I'm telling you is, is learn from everybody, right? If you are, if you're brand new at the gym, right? You're gonna be even with the brand new people. But after you're there a couple months, there's going to be new, brand new people that you're better than. Um, and you still might not be the hammer, but you might be the hand that's holding the nail, right? You're, you're, you're moving your way up to hammers. And there's going to be different levels of it, right? There's different size hammers. Um, obviously, there's guys out there that are way, way, way better than me. Um, but in general, I can walk into a gym and hold my own. Um, it's... it's I can't remember the last time I walked in somewhere and just felt completely overwhelmed by how much further down I was on the skill level from other people. And I've, I've been to piles of gyms. So, I mean, that being said, if, if I'm going to walk into American Top Team or something, there's going to be a bunch of people there better than me, right? But I'm not going to be the brand new guy walking in off the street either. Right? There's going to be piles of people there that are way under me also. So there's there's different size hammers. But you should be learning from everybody. And if you're at the point where it's, you're at the top of the food chain in your gym, you need to find 
people that can be better than you or at the minimum pushing you on your level um, or close to it. And I know that's hard sometimes, especially some of you guys are way out in the middle of nowhere. Um, like I say, we're in a small town, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm a couple hours away from, from large areas. So I get to, when I have time, I can go travel and, and be at these places. And sometimes these people will come to me. And uh, like I, I've said before, I did that a lot more when I was fighting. So if you're the new guy, don't be afraid to go with the, the more experienced people. And more experienced people, bring the new guys up, right? Um, don't just go, you know, destroy them every round. And there's a time and a place for that. Sometimes you need to put people in their place, right? They might be thinking, oh, man, this this guy's not that good, blah, 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 when you're kind of playing with them. Sometimes you need to need to put them in check. Like, hey, this is it. Like, we're doing a three-minute round, and you're getting subbed 15 times. Or, you know we're doing a three minute sparring round and you're going to hang out in this corner and just be terrified the whole time even though I'm not hitting you hard. Sometimes you need to do that. But for the most part, you need to let the new people work and you work on the stuff that's that's really advanced for you. Um, that way, both of you all are getting work out of it. So that's what I got to say about that. If this helped you at all, please hit the like button for me. Um, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of these. And please share all over social media. I am trying to get this video to as many eyes as possible. Um, I'm getting a lot of good feedback, and I would like it to get to as many people as possible and help out as many people as possible with their MMA game. So we'll catch you next time on Mastering MMA. Coach Lee.